off. The CDC approved COVID-19 booster shots for the Moderna as well as the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. The agency also okayed mixing and matching vaccines. The news raised some questions about the shots and tonight News 19's Julia Kaufman got answers. There's a lot of misinformation out there when it comes to the COVID-19 vaccine and booster shots. We brought your questions and concerns straight to DHEC to get some answers. I would like to get the booster shot because I have asthma, so that's something I really am interested in getting. Latasha Terry is fully vaccinated. DHEC's public health director, Dr. Brandon Traxler, says if she has moderate or severe asthma, it's recommended she gets the booster. People um, who are, have some of those comorbidities or, or underlying health conditions that make them more likely to get severe illness um, if they were to get infected are the people that um, really would qualify then if they're, you know, if they're 18 and up. Terry got the Moderna vaccine, but is weary about mixing with a different kind. I would stick with Moderna. While others heard you're supposed to mix and match. Yesterday in the news media came out that you, if you, they want you to get a different booster. So if you had the Pfizer, they want you to get the Moderna, the Johnson & Johnson. The CDC at this point does, you know, has not given a recommendation that you should mix and match. It is, they have given a recommendation that it is optional and that each person may choose. Um, and I don't think that right now there's a wrong answer for which one you choose, whether you go for a new one or stick with what you've been getting. Some don't understand why you'd need a booster in the first place. We have the, like the, vac the two vaccine shots. Why do I need like this third one? We know vaccines um, and the, the immunity or protection that they provide fade over time. Um, that's not new for this vaccine. Um, they all do it at very different rates, very different speeds. Since protection eventually fades, that's why Traxler says vulnerable populations should get the booster, while others may not need it yet. So somebody who's a young, you know, healthy college student, especially if they're not living um, in big crowded, you know, settings, um, may not need a booster yet if they got uh, the Moderna or the Pfizer originally. Connor also yeah, wants to know like what's in the booster shot that's different and is it going to like add on to what's already in the system? Traxler says all three boosters have the same makeup as their original vaccines. If you're eligible for the booster shot and looking to get one, you can find information about making appointments on our website, WLTX.com. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX.